from Matau to Lipanga, uh, born and raised in Samoa, have been trained as a coral gardener um, in Fiji uh, and been working um, coral restoration uh, in many areas in Samoa um, and especially in my front yard here at Matareva. It's definitely a, a huge change in the last five, seven years. Um, with this particular area, I've, you know, we've noticed a lot of changes on the coastal eroding. Um, you're seeing a lot more of the tree roots in a lot of the areas. Um, a lot more of the, the black volcanic rocks are exposed. Um, due to, due to the, the, the sea level rise and uh, it's a huge um, problem to me um, personally there's a, there's a huge work that needs to be done in this area because it definitely you know in order to to have everything working or uh, naturally come back um, is, is getting that ecosystem chain back, back, um, and 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 the problems that we are facing right now um, in fishing communities um, are not helping it at all. Corals, up till now, it still hasn't recovered, um, and I think also uh, not only climate change, um, but also to do with human um, uh, activities, uh, especially the, the overfishing um, of these areas. Um, uh, it's, it's making it a lot harder for, uh, for the, the natural ecosystem to come back on its own. Information needs to be given to the community, especially the fishermen. They are the ones that are using the resources. They are the first people that we need to educate so that they know exactly what should be done and what not should not be done um, in order to, to sustain and maintain the, um, the ecosystem and, and, and the balance of the reefs.